I, it's your favorite turtle, Yummy or Marewa. Trust me, don't you know, okay? Now, we're looking at something very important this morning. Uh, it's actually one of the branches of chemistry known as organic chemistry. Organic chemistry one actually today. We'll be looking at it uh, like an introduction. And the first thing we'll look at is the definition. The next thing we'll be considering is the characteristics of organic chemistry. As time will, will permit us quickly, what is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is defined as the chemistry of carbon compounds. Chemistry of carbon compounds. Now, it should be noted carefully that the compounds that is being formed or that are being formed by carbon are much more than all the inorganic compounds put together. I'm sure you have heard about cantination, which is the ability of carbon to form a single, a branch, and even a ring chain. That's carbon. Carbon can do that. Not any other elements can actually go uh, into such. Okay, now, what do we say? There are the other elements. There are other elements that we also consider in the study of organic chemistry. Uh, they are chlorine, sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen. But the main element of organic chemistry is carbon. That takes us to characteristics of organic chemistry. Number one, melting and boiling point. Generally, organic chemistry have low melting points and boiling points, except few like the Akano and the Akanoic. Number two, we have solubility. Organic chemistry are insoluble in water. They are insoluble in water. In fact, the more the number of carbon in a particular compound, the lesser the solubility. So there are only a few of them that are soluble in water, particularly those of them that possess hydrogen bonding. Number three, we have what we call polarity. Polarity. Organic compounds generally are non-polar. They are non-polar. And because they are non-polar, obviously they will have low melting and boiling points. Except few that are polar. Number four, we talked about reactivity. The reactivity aspect here is that the organic compounds are slower. Their reactions are slower compared to inorganic compounds. Hence, catalysts are used to facilitate organic reaction thank you till we meet again